Hi guys, it's Candy. This is my official Barbie wave because she can't move her fingers. I'm gonna show you how to do this super fun Barbie look. I did an old Barbie video like forever ago, but that was years ago and my camera's better and this is like a totally different look. So I hope you guys like it. I'll tell you guys about the wig and all that stuff at the end. Or you could do brunette Barbie, redheaded Barbie, 80s Barbie, or you could look like Anna from Frozen. Imagine I have the costume on. Comment below, who should I turn into next? I love reading your comments and I try to comment back. Subscribe if you haven't already because you don't know who I want to turn into next. It's kind of fun. Now let's get started showing you this Barbie look. This is Barbie excitement. Yay! With my Barbie hands. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we want very doll-like, fake-looking skin, so I have put primer all over my face. Now I'm gonna put this really light, this L'Oreal True Match in Creamy Natural. It's a cool color, kind of like Barbie skin tone. And we'll apply this all over. Now before we get too far into this look, I'm gonna go put my blue contacts in. Ta-da! Now I'm just gonna do some basic contouring to make it look like Barbie shaped face. If you just wanna do the beauty makeup part, you can skip all the contouring, just skip forward in this video, and you can see that. But if you do wanna do the highlighting, I will show you how to do it. I'm just gonna be using my RCMA um, VK palette number 11, and I'm going to be using the lightest white color that we have here, and I'm just going to Shade some highlight areas on the nose, the chin, right here on the corners of the mouth, right here under the eyes and cheeks, and right here on the outer edges of the face to make it look more rounded. We're looking like Barbie already. And right here on the outer corner of the eye. We're also gonna take a darker brown color and we can do all of our shading right here too. So we're gonna go under the lip, right here along the bottom of the face. And we're gonna shade this back to the nose. We're gonna shade around the nostrils. And we're gonna shade right here a little bit for her smile. And maybe just a little shading on the temples. We're gonna blend it with our beauty blender. Now we're just gonna set it with some translucent powder. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a taupe color from MAC and just a blending brush and we're going to do a little bit of the contouring. So we're gonna go right here under the lower lip and we're just gonna gently shade underneath. I'm gonna do, she has a little bit of a dimple shadow that I'm going to kind of just create right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of shading under the nose and just kind of a little V shape right here. I'm just gonna go down the sides of the nose, right here in just the middle kind of area. There's no real color up here, but just down here it's a little more defined. I'm just gonna curve right here so it looks like we're making our nose a little one tiny. Then you can take a bigger, fluffier brush and we're just going to kind of shade underneath here because this is shaded on her face. Under the temples and down around the cheeks. Just real soft and curved because we don't want them to look too chiseled, just a little more rounded. But her jawline is a lot more shaded than mine. Just right here a little bit to make it look more oval than my face. And maybe we'll just do a little bit of shading right here. Now we're just gonna do her cheeks, and this is Angel. It's broken, I'm probably gonna do a video on how to fix broken shadows because of this guy, or blushes, but um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, and I'm just gonna sweep it right here. It just gives like a hint of a glow, not crazy blush, but just a little hint of pinkiness. Now we'll get started on the eyes because that's the fun part. So I'm just gonna take this uh, shadow stick and crystal from NYX, and I'm going to create that curved shape on her eye. So we're gonna go down here to the inner corner, and we're gonna color right along our eyelid all the way down to the inner corner with this color. And do the same thing over here. Because it's cream when we apply our powder shadow, it's really gonna lock it in. And you're gonna extend it down past the tear duct right there. Now you can use any frosty shadow from the Vice palette. I'm just gonna be using Bobbi Dazzle and a thin brush. And I'm going to press this right on top of where we just put the cream shadow. I'm also gonna take my white eyeliner and I'm going to line the inner corner of the waterline and kind of bring it down to a point right here so we can kind of get that Barbie shaped eye. And then you wanna leave the middle part alone and then we're gonna go out to the outer corners and make those look white too. 
I'm also going to take whipped cream eyeshadow from NYX, which is a very matte white, and I'm going to put that right on top so we get a little more of a white pop to the eye. Now I'm just going to take a deep kind of mahogany brown. This is Rockstar Eyeliner from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to create the illusion of this crease right here. So we're going to start at the inner corner, and we're just going to create a curve here like her Barbie eye. And you just draw a crease like that. So if you don't have a crease in your eye, you can just draw that on there and it'll look pretty real. So it looks a little crazy, we're gonna shade it in. I'm gonna take this purple color sketch from MAC and a flat little brush. Then from the Too Faced a la Mode palette, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Monaco and a little bit of the Soleil, basically like a copper pink color. And I'm gonna blend that right on, from the crease right above a little bit. And from the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Sangria color and kind of a flat brush. And I'm just going to gently darken this outer shadow right here. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this peach blushing color and I'm gonna sweep that right on the top to lighten that just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take any nude color. This is Bone from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to sweep this right on top here. And with this color we can go all the way down towards the inner part of the eye. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Gesso from MAC. It's very a white matte and we're gonna put that right underneath the brows. And then I'm gonna take a flat brush and signed and sealed or any deep plum or deep kind of brown color. And I'm just gonna go right back over this crease area. Now for under the eye, you can take any light brown pencil. This is just Smog from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to line underneath the white that we put there. And then right up here to the inner corner of the eye. And then down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take cork from MAC or any red brown shadow and an angled brush, and I'm gonna go just right up on top to where we just put that. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna take a liquid black liner. This is just the uh, pen from Lorac. We're gonna start by drawing right here. Right about the outer edge of our lash line. So we're going to kind of sweep it up a little bit. And if you mess anything up, you can just go back in with your white pencil and you can just fill in and kind of use it like an eraser to fix anything that you may have messed up. My first liquid liner pen bled everywhere, so I'll just go back in with some white powder and then it's all fixed. Now I'm just gonna take any black eyeshadow and an angled brush and I'm gonna press it right down on top of the liquid liner we just put just because it makes it more matte and not so shiny. Now I'm just gonna take a brown eyeliner and I'm going to Go right along the lash line. Now I'm gonna take a white eyeliner and I'm gonna go in the outer corner again and go right underneath the wing that we just made with the black. This is gonna make it look more doll eye and kind of white right there. And then again on the inner corner. Now I'm just gonna follow this line underneath the white and meet him up with our black wing right here. And then do the same thing and kind of curve him down right here. Now we kind of have those more Barbie eyes. So now I'm just gonna take cork, our kind of warm brown, and I'm gonna smoke that right underneath where we just put that brown liner. I'm also taking this caramel color from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, that eyeshadow, and I'm just going to warm it up just a little bit right here. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We're gonna draw the lashes on the bottom. So this is just medium brown dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and a fine angled brush. The first one comes off more sideways like that. Then they're just gonna flare out at angles right here. And there's our bottom lashes. I'll go to this side. Now for her brows, I'm just gonna take soft brown um, dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and an angled brush. And we're just going to cover these things up. So it comes up and then it curves down right here. And then with the spoolie brush, you can just 
push them all to the side. Now we're going to get ready for our fake lashes, so I'm going to curl mine and apply a few coats of regular mascara. And a trick when you're doing this kind of doll mascara is I don't want these lashes to go down. So I'm just going to take my angled brush and I'm going to kind of push them up so they clump upwards. So we don't cover up that white part we just did on the outer corner. Now for the lashes, I'm just going to use these Demi Wispies from Ardell in 102 and some lash glue. I'm also going to take my liquid liner and I'm going to draw some crazier, thicker eyelashes on like she has also. Now before we do anything else, I am going to put my wig on and then we'll finish the lips. Okay, now we have our Barbie hair and now we're just going to do the mouth which is classic Barbie shape which I'll show you right now. I'm just using Wicked from Urban Decay and we're going to draw kind of her heart shaped mouth right here. So we'll start at the bottom, which starts a little low, and then fill this all in. And then for the top, it's a very heart-shaped mouth, so we're going to start here, go up, and then swoop down. Now I'm going to go in with a hot pink. This is Anime from OCC, and we're just going to outline it. Now I'm just going to take my white eyeliner and I'm going to draw this line of highlight on her lip. I'm even going to take a red lip liner, this cherry, and I'm going to highlight the inside of the lip and then we're going to blend it in a minute. And I'm also going to go down here and we're going to go all along the inside of the mouth. You can take any pink color to blend. I'm just taking NYX Hot Pink and I'm just going to blend that more along the edges. And there is our cartoon lip. Here is our finished Barbie look. I hope you guys love it. Um, make sure you guys comment below what look would you guys like me to do next. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. So you don't see who I'm going to do next or who I'm going to turn into. Um, if you guys do this look, tag me on Twitter or Instagram or something so I can see it. At Candy Johnson. I'm at Candy Johnson everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. So come join the Candy Crew and we will be friends. And you can see sneak peek stuff I'm doing and all kinds of fun things. And make sure that you guys leave me a nice comment below. I love reading all of your comments on Instagram, on here, all over the place. And I'm going to send you huge... This would be Barbie hand hugs because her arms can't move. The old Barbies used to be able to do this, but maybe new Barbies just do this. So this would be your Barbie hug from my house to yours. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out my last costume video, whatever it is. I'll put a link down below. If you click show more or about more or whatever underneath here, you can see it and you can see all that stuff. See you guys in the next video. Bye!